Welcome to this week's Ask Charlie and my bedroom. And I think this is probably one of my most requested videos ever. And that is how I organise my clothes. And I'm ashamed to say, I haven't tidied these for you guys. I thought we could do it together. And I thought I would talk you through how I sort and organise my wardrobe. We don't have masses of space, so I have to be quite selective. And also I swap things out seasonally. So I thought as the seasons are about to change, I need to tackle my wardrobe. We could do it together. So I can't believe I'm doing this. In this side here, I have shoes, bags, scarves, and a whole load of kind of stuff that has just got kind of thrown in there and needs a serious organise. And then in here, I have got hanging so there's kind of my everyday shirts. That's more occasion wear. And then in here, I have got skirts, trousers, jeans, some longer stuff and belts. So I thought that we would tackle this little lot today. So I have a few rules when I am going through my wardrobe. Do I love you and am I keeping you for sentimental reasons? And there's a few of those items that are in there that will probably always stay because I just cannot part with them. Do I love you, but I haven't worn you for such a long time that actually it's time to rehome you? Do I not love you and do I not really care at all? Do I not find myself reaching for that item, but for something else over it? So I ask myself these questions. Do I really want to keep you? Do I love you? Are you sentimental? And depending on the answer, it depends whether I keep it or not. And then I come up with the different piles. So charity shop, Normally there's not a bin pile, but very occasionally there might be something that goes in the bin if it's really, really bad. But normally that can be turned into a rag. So I don't often ever bin any items of clothing, but it will be like rags, charity shop, vintage. I do sell quite a few bits on vintage. Um, or do I give them to a friend or do they go to my daughter? And I have a good kind of pile system going of what I'm doing and I reorganise things. And I find myself always reaching for similar types of clothes. So I have to be really quite honest with myself. Like for example, where is it? This, I love, but I put it on and I don't wear it. I've got a dress of a green print by the same make that I love and I find myself reaching for. So this has come to the time to um, to get rid and actually I am going to vintage that. So there it goes and then I make a pile for the coat hangers and I just go through Ooh. actually forgotten about that that had got tucked into the back and I haven't worn it so I need to make sure that that is at this end and that I reach for it. So then I've got things like this dress, Christmassy dress, seasonal, and actually it's time to take that out, fold it up, and I use Lakeland vacuum bags to pack my clothes into, and I find Lakeland absolutely brilliant. They are on the expensive side, but and I was having this conversation with um, either my members club or my efficient home course talking about cheaper options and actually they don't last very long. Whereas the Lakeland bags, I've got some like six, seven years old and they're still going strong. So sometimes it is worth spending a little bit more money, but getting really good quality and they'll last year after year. So that will be packed away. My green velvet Christmassy dress is going to get packed away now as well. This is one of those sentimental pieces that will stay in my wardrobe for years to come. This is actually my mother's. I wore it the other day and Simon was like, was that your mum's? I was like, yep. <laughs> and now I feel in my 40s that I can wear it. And I actually wore it with my denim dress over the top to go for fr to friends for lunch. And it just worked. It was just cosy. It was a great outfit. So this cardigan, although it's really, really old, it was mum's and I love it. 
and I love this dress. This will take me through into spring, so that is definitely staying. However, I have got the burgundy version, which I'm going to pack away now. I think I've worn it quite a lot over Christmas and New Year, and I probably won't reach for it if we're going out for dinner now. Spring is on its way, and so I'm going for slightly lighter colours and um, yeah, more spring clothes, whereas that is very much autumn winter. My lovely green velvet evening dress. This is by Me and V, and I loved this. I wore it three times, um, and now that is getting packed away as well. Again, that is quite a Christmassy number, so we will pack that away. I didn't wear this one this year, but I'm not going to get rid of it yet. I love it, and I think I probably will wear it again, so that is definitely staying. I actually didn't wear this, but I love it, and I know I will. I just didn't have the opportunity to wear it, and I'm probably not going to wear red now. So time to pack that away as well. And that is very much a spring dress. So I shall keep that, keep that out and enjoy wearing that one. Empty hangers, evening top. That's actually got some marks on it. So I'm gonna pop it in the wash and see whether that comes out. It's got some marks around the collar, which, um, and that is a riding shirt, which is quite useful. And that hanger shouldn't be in there. Oh, I haven't worn that for years. That is going. In fact, that might even be a cocoa. I haven't worn that for years. That is going. I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to keep it and see. That is something I haven't worn. Am I going to wear it? It might be quite nice with my black trousers. I'm going to keep that. In fact, this one that I didn't wear this winter, I don't think I'm going to wear this now going into spring, thinking about it. So I'm going to pack it away and just coming in our own is it a bit dark i bought it in america anyway we'll see i'm packing away i'm not getting rid of it yet again that's quite a wintry color so out that shirt comes and actually i don't think i'm gonna wear this one now either what am i gonna wear green cord i might do i love that shirt Again, this shirt I haven't worn for ages. Let's see, it's quite, it's quite pretty, it's quite summery. It's a pale pink, but if I don't wear it soon, it's going. Again, this is something that I just don't find myself wearing. I think it's because it doesn't have a collar. So time for that to go. Two old handbags at the bottom of my wardrobe, which I haven't used for yonks, so it's time to get rid of them. Let's talk hangers for a moment. I'm just not sure what is my favourite. And actually, it's probably this one, which I know they're not the most attractive, but they're the most practical because if you've got hooky bits, you can hang them on there or on there. They're quite slim and they're quite easy to use. I love the wooden ones, but because of the shape of them, they take up so much room. And because I don't have a huge amount of space, room is quite important. These are the velvet ones, which don't take up much space. However, I find them a bit annoying because the clothes stick to them, so they don't fall off. However, when you're in a hurry and you go to reach for something, they're kind of stuck on them. So I don't know which is my favorite, but it's probably the ugly plastic one, to be perfectly honest. Let me know down in the comments what you think. Anyway, I'm prevaricating. I need to crack on, but... We have progress here, which is good, and there is space. 
which is also good. I've got a couple of things for the wash. I've got a big pack pile of things to pack away for next year and I've got some things to get rid of. So that is a good feeling, although I do need to hang these two back up. Now for in here. So I will... Mm. You see, that's on that velvet hanger and it's not sitting very well. And I also haven't worn this one, but I know that I am going to. So I'm going to pop that on a different hanger and I'm actually going to do up the buttons so it hangs better. through my skirts I'm actually going to get rid of that one and I'm going to keep that one I'm going to pack that dress away so I hang trousers that I don't wear all the time on a hanger um, actually that's just a mess. And that wooden hanger, although I love it, is too big. So let's use this one. Oh, these things are kind of mid-season, like they could be winter, they can be, they're like transitional pieces too. So I'm not gonna pack these away yet. When I do my wardrobe, when we're properly, properly into spring, then I will pack this skirt away. And the same with this one. I'm going to pop that on a better hanger that doesn't take up so much room. For me, it's not so much the aesthetics. It's more the practical, I find, um, when I'm organising my wardrobe. Like, I'd love it to all be matching, matching and beautiful. But I've got to go with what's practical. And again, I'm going to make a pile of things to try on see whether I want to keep them or not. I always think if you're unsure, try something on and then see. And this skirt I haven't worn, but actually I've just had an idea. It might be quite fun with like a black cashmere roll neck for the winter. So these sort of evening wear items, I don't pack away in um, a Lakeland storage bag. I actually hang these on a rail um, I have in my attic and I just pop them over, um, pop over like a plastic zip up bag and that will go on my rail upstairs. And then, <laughs> belt, oh, that belt is definitely time to get rid of that one. Um, belts I, oh, and that one. Um, belts I hang on a wooden coat hanger because that is the best place I have found to store my belts. That is something that I haven't worn for years. So it's time to get ruthless and get rid of that one. And this belt, I do use a lot, so I'm just gonna pop that on there. And then, jeans I keep in these baskets, which I just fold them up and I popped them in. I try to actually fold them that way. So I just need to have a little reorganize of my jeans in here. In fact, that pair I'm gonna pop on a hanger. So that's my jeans in their basket in there. Right, now we need to tackle the shoe cupboard. Have I worn these all year? Am I going to wear them now? I don't think so. I don't find myself reaching to fold them, so I am going to charity shop them. Now these are all quite wintry boots, but it's still, still we're like in that transitional period. So I'm going to keep these in my wardrobe. But I haven't worn these this year, and I think they're a little bit trendy for me. So I think I'm going to get rid of them. I'm looking at these and thinking, oh my goodness, where do I start? 
These are a really cheapy pair that I bought from Zara years ago and I don't find myself reaching for them. So those are going to the charity shop too, as well as these red ones. I haven't worn these for years either. So time to get rid of them. <laughs> these have really seen better days. They are going to the shoe recycling centre. And these French sole ballet pumps, I haven't worn for years either. So it's time to get rid of them. Gosh, I'm being really ruthless. Now I do quite like those, so they're staying, but I'm getting rid of these. There we are, that is so much better. And oh my goodness, it's such a good feeling having a good sort out. You should see the floor. Maybe I should show you. The floor is a mess. <laughs> it's a real mess. Let me sit down amongst my mess. But I now know what is to be packed away, what is charity shop, what I'm going to sell. And so I now need to just sort out this lot. But this is feeling so much better and so much more organised. And obviously I've discovered things that I had forgotten I even had in my wardrobe. So it's really important to have a good sort out from time to time. I try and do this three or four times a year and try and keep on top of it but it's been crazy super 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 busy and I haven't done this I should have done it a while ago but I'm sharing it with you so let me know if you've got any tips any advice on sorting out your wardrobe but this is what I tend to do is just go through everything and be really honest and be ruthless but also if you know you're going to regret getting rid of something then don't get rid of it hang on to it and that's why I'm lucky I can. I have got some storage space up in the attic. When I said upstairs earlier, that's what I mean. I've got attic space and I can pack things away for um, next winter. Things that I know that I'm going to love um, and, and enjoy wearing again. So I really hope that you have found this helpful. I hope that this has given you um, the motivation to have a good wardrobe sort out as well. And... Um, I'm looking forward to seeing you again soon and in the meantime, lots of love and thank you for tuning in.